Ever wonder about the first complex life forms on Earth? Join us on a quest through time and evolution to uncover the intriguing story of how the first complex organisms shaped our planet. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take a journey back in time to explore the evolution of life on our planet. From the primordial soup to the emergence of complex organisms, we'll uncover the mysteries of the past and discover the incredible story of the first complex life on Earth. From single-celled organisms to towering dinosaurs, we'll trace the evolution of life on our planet and the impact it has had on shaping the world we know today. So sit back, relax, and join us as we uncover the secrets of the ancient past. Diving into the study of the first complex life on Earth is like taking a journey back in time to the origins of life as we know it. It's a captivating topic that gives us a glimpse into the history of our planet and the evolution of life forms. The emergence of complex life forms is a pivotal moment in the history of life on Earth, marking the transition from simple, single-celled organisms to more complex, multicellular organisms. Think about it. Before the emergence of complex life forms, the only forms of life on Earth were single-celled organisms that were limited in their capabilities and function. But with the emergence of complex life forms, we saw the emergence of organisms that were able to perform a wide range of functions and had intricate structures such as plants and animals. But why is understanding the emergence of complex life forms so important? Well, not only does it give us a deeper understanding of the history of life on Earth, but it also provides insight into processes that shaped the Earth's environment and the evolution of life on Earth. It helps us understand how life on Earth has adapted and evolved over time to survive and thrive in different environments. With that in mind, let's delve deeper into the emergence of complex life forms and explore how and when they first appeared on Earth. The Emergence of Complex Life The journey from simple to complex life forms on Earth is a captivating tale that spans billions of years. This incredible transformation was the result of a series of gradual changes that occurred over time, each building upon the previous one. One of the most significant changes that led to the emergence of complex life was the evolution of prokaryotic cells to eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are the simplest form of life, consisting of a single cell without a nucleus or membrane-bound organelles. These cells are found in bacteria and archaea, and are considered the building blocks of life. On the other hand, eukaryotic cells are far more complex, possessing a nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles that perform specific functions. These cells are found in all forms of life, including plants, animals, and fungi. The evolution of eukaryotic cells is believed to have occurred through a process known as endosymbiosis. This is the process in which one type of prokaryotic cell engulfed another type of prokaryotic cell, eventually leading to the formation of eukaryotic cells. This fascinating process allowed for the specialization of cells, leading to the development of different organelles that perform specific functions. This specialization allowed for the evolution of more complex life forms, leading to the diverse array of life that we see on Earth today. The transition from simple prokaryotic cells to complex eukaryotic cells is a pivotal moment in the history of life on Earth. This change laid the foundation for the evolution of all forms of life that we see today, from the tiniest microbe to the largest animal. It is a reminder of the incredible power of evolution and the beauty of the natural world. Another key change that played a crucial role in the emergence of complex life was the development of multicellularity. Multicellular organisms are composed of many cells that work together to perform specific functions, and this type of organization allows for the development of more complex body plans and more efficient use of resources. The evolution of multicellularity likely occurred through a process known as cell specialization. Cell specialization is a process in which cells within a colony begin to take on specific roles, eventually leading to the formation of multicellular organisms. This process is thought to have occurred gradually, over time, with cells and colonies becoming increasingly specialized until they eventually formed multicellular organisms. One of the key benefits of multicellularity is that it allows for the division of labor among cells, which allows for more efficient use of resources. 
For example, cells that specialize in photosynthesis can focus on converting sunlight into energy, while cells that specialize in protection can focus on defending the organism from predators. Additionally, multicellular organisms can have more complex body plans than single-celled organisms, which allows for more sophisticated behavior and greater adaptability to different environments. The evolution of multicellularity also had a profound impact on the diversity of life on Earth. Many of the major groups of organisms that we see today, such as plants, animals, and fungi, are multicellular. Plus, the evolution of multicellularity likely paved the way for the evolution of more complex life forms, such as animals with nervous systems and complex behaviors. In addition to the things we just discussed, the emergence of complex life forms on Earth was a gradual and multifaceted process that was influenced by a variety of environmental factors. One of the most significant of these factors was the oxygenation of the Earth's atmosphere. Oxygen is essential for the survival of complex life forms, as it is required for the process of respiration, which allows cells to produce energy from food. Without oxygen, complex life forms would not have been able to evolve and thrive on Earth. The process of photosynthesis, which is the way in which plants and other organisms produce their own food using energy from the sun, also played a critical role in the emergence of complex life. Photosynthesis is a process that occurs in the chloroplasts of plant cells and involves the conversion of sunlight into chemical energy, which is stored in the form of glucose. As a byproduct of this process, oxygen is also produced, which over time led to the oxygenation of Earth's atmosphere. This increase in oxygen levels in the atmosphere allowed for the evolution of more complex life forms, as they were now able to survive and thrive in an environment with a higher concentration of oxygen. In addition to photosynthesis, other environmental factors such as changes in climate and geology also played a role in the emergence of complex life forms. For example, the formation of land masses and the emergence of shallow seas provided new habitats for life to evolve and diversify. Similarly, changes in temperature and precipitation patterns led to the evolution of different types of organisms that were adapted to specific environments. The emergence of complex life forms on Earth was not only influenced by environmental factors, such as the oxygenation of the atmosphere, but also by the movement of the continents. The impact of continental drift on the diversity of life forms played a key role in the evolution of life on our planet. As the continents moved, they carried with them different types of organisms, which led to the formation of diverse ecosystems. This diversity of life forms provided a rich source of genetic variation, which allowed for the evolution of new life forms. The movement of the continents also created barriers that separated populations of organisms, leading to the development of unique species in different regions. For example, as the ancient supercontinent Pangaea began to break apart around 200 million years ago, different regions of the continent began to develop their own distinct ecosystems, leading to the formation of the continents we know today. This process of continental drift created a wide range of habitats and environments which enabled the diversification and evolution of different species. As the Earth's continents were shifting and separating, a new type of complex organism emerged on the planet the Ediacara biota. The first complex organisms. The first complex organisms that appeared on Earth were the Ediacara biota, which lived around 575 to 540 million years ago. The Ediacara biota were soft-bodied organisms that lived on the seafloor and left behind impressions of their bodies in sedimentary rocks. These organisms were likely simple, multicellular organisms, and they are considered to be the oldest known complex life forms. After the Ediacara biota, early Cambrian organisms appeared on Earth. These organisms were characterized by the development of hard body parts, such as shells and exoskeletons, which allowed them to better protect themselves from predators. The early Cambrian organisms also had a variety of body plans, including the development of segmented body plans, which allowed for greater mobility and the evolution of new types of organisms. Fossil evidence is the primary means of studying the first complex organisms that existed on Earth. Fossils are the remains or traces of ancient organisms that have been preserved in rocks or other materials. The process of fossilization occurs when the remains of an organism are buried by sediment and protected from weathering and erosion. 
Over time, the sediment hardens into rock, and the remains of the organism are preserved within the rock. The analysis of fossils can provide important the analysis of the analysis of fossils can provide important information about the appearance, behavior, and ecology of ancient organizations of ancient organisms. For example, the shape, size, and structure of fossilized shells can provide information about the organism's habitat and diet, while the presence of certain features such as eyes or limbs can provide information about the organism's behavior and mobility. Besides, the study of fossils can provide insight into how complex organisms have evolved and how they have interacted with their environment over time. The Impact of Complex Life on Earth the emergence of complex life forms had a significant impact on the Earth's environment. Complex organisms such as plants and animals played a key role in shaping the Earth's ecosystems. For example, the evolution of photosynthesis allowed for the formation of diverse ecosystems such as forests and grasslands, which provided habitats for a wide range of organisms. Complex organisms also played a key role in biogeochemical cycles, such as the carbon and nutrient cycles, which helped to regulate the Earth's environment. The emergence of complex life forms also had a significant impact on the evolution of other life forms. The evolution of animals and the development of new body plans, such as the segmented body plan, allowed for the evolution of new types of organisms, such as arthropods, which are characterized by their exoskeletons and jointed appendages. The evolutions of plants and the colonization of land also had a significant impact on the evolution of other life forms as it provided new habitats and resources for organisms to exploit. Lastly, ongoing research continues to provide new insights into the first complex life on Earth, making it an essential topic in understanding the history of life on our planet and its impact on the current state of the Earth. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed learning about the first complex life on Earth. Scientists believe that the first complex organisms appeared around 600 million years ago in the form of simple organisms. These early life forms paved the way for the evolution of more complex organisms, such as animals and plants. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more fun and informative content. Thanks for watching.